Hey everyone, DJ Sturf here. I'm about to play The Pilgrim's Progress. This is one of the lesser known games by Scott Cawthon. If you remember Scott Cawthon, he's the maker of the Five Nights at Freddy's series. This is when he was with Hope Animation, very directly, making Christian games. A very different game from Five Nights at Freddy's for sure, but I'm, I'm actually really curious as to how faithful it's going to be to the allegorical novel by John Bunyan. An absolute theological masterpiece. You should read it. It was written in 1628. And uh, let's see, the whole, the whole title of the book is The Pilgrim's Progress from this world to that which is to come in the similitude of a dream. And I think there's like even more subtitles. I can, I can look that up. But here's the, uh, here's the actual book, the complete unabridged version. But let me, uh, let me get the actual... Yeah, The Pilgrim's Progress from this world to that which is to come, delivered, on the, uh, delivered under the similitude of a dream, wherein is discovered the manner of his setting out his dangerous journey and safe arrival at the desired country. So, yeah, interesting. We'll see how this goes. And this, this, this novel is really, really interesting. Uh, the characters are just absolutely obvious as to what they do by their names. And so you have the main character, Christian, who is graceless, uh, you also have him encountering people like Pliable, who believes absolutely anything. Uh, he, he changes his mind very easily, so he's, he's Pliable. Um, or, let's see, there's Obstinate. Um, there's a Worldly Wise Man. I think, yeah, Worldly Wise Man, who like tries to encourage him to just, just to go the way of the world and a moral life instead of following after Jesus. So it'll be an interesting playthrough, and yeah, here we go. New game. And my tendency is to play difficult, but I think that there's just going to be more grinding. And because uh, I've seen a little bit of a walkthrough um, as far as to see the structure of the game. I'm going to play it on normal. I think that's going to be uh, a little bit more entertaining for you all. And I'm not going to have to grind for like hours on end in order to get where I need to be. So let's play it on normal and see how it goes. And I guess I'll read through these. And we're going to encounter some characters here, so uh, <laughs> try to come with some voices for each one, I guess. All right. My name is Christian. That's me there, reading from a book that someone was kind enough to give to me. The book was called The Holy Bible. In it, I learned that the city I lived in, the city of destruction, would soon be destroyed by fire. I also learned that I'd been carrying a large burden. <laughs> That's that big old sack on his back right there. That's his large burden. It was a burden of my sin. It was full of my lies, my blasphemies, my theft, and every other evil thing. I feared that when I died, the, that my burden would be so heavy that it would sink me lower than the grave. So I spent my days reading from my book, crying, not knowing what to do. It was that day that I met Evangelist. What must I do to be saved? Oh my goodness, what's with his hair? It's like Don King mixed with Ludwig, Ludwig von Koopa. <laughs> oh man, okay. So Evangelist gives really good advice in the novel. Uh, I'm trusting that he will here, but man, don't take his advice on where to get a haircut. Um, let me also turn on the replay buffer, one sec. Uh, there we go, okay, cool. <laughs> Just an OBS thing. All right, uh, let's, what type of voice should I give? Excuse me, sir, but what troubles you so much? I've been reading from this good book, and I know that I'm doomed to die for the sins that I carry. And I'm afraid that when I die, my burden will be so heavy that it will sink me lower than the grave. So you would like to escape from the city, and also free yourself from that burden? Yes, but I can't see how that would be possible. I'm a wretched person. How can sin be undone? What hope is there for me? Outside this city, there is a light that shines from across the distant field. Leave this city and journey across that field in search of the light. Keep going until you reach a small gate. When you get there, knock and you will be told what to do. Now go, escape from the city and find the small gate. <laughs> I was tempted to put it so like, in there. <laughs> All right, so Pilgrim's Progress, let's go. All right, controls. Arrow keys to move. Okay, so no WASD. Press Z to jump and select commands. Up to interact with objects and people. Down to pray. All right, tab to view your logbook. Right, let's do logbook. Okay, so I'm I'm a complete noob here. <laughs> Spiritual maturity one. All right, no points yet. All right, focus, and that's those are all the pages of the book. No quests. All right, so let's go. Can I go? I have to be here. Okay, going up those stairs. I seem to move faster when I jump. 
Yeah, let's, let's, all right, we're gonna trot. Burden? Nonsense, I live life with no regrets. Man, a lot of people do. Okay. New quests added. All right, what quests? Okay, so you warn them by pressing up, tab to view those quests and all that. Okay, so warn citizens of destruction, defeat groundskeepers, give Bibles to needy, feed the hungry, defeat Sinmire. Um, do I die if I go down here? Hmm. Maybe it's best if I try it now. Okay, I'm not dead. Okay, so it's like the Desolate Hope. Because the Desolate Hope, you have that kind of scrolling background. Okay, so it's kind of like a platformer on this. Uh... I don't know if I'm ready to fight someone like this yet. Uh, let's try it. I'm on normal mode, so this shouldn't be too bad, I guess. This is still too loud. There we go. Alright, uh, use arrow keys to select your command, then press Z to confirm your command. Okay, so it has your percent chance of escape there. Let's see. Resist with, let's see, filth? Uh be truth filth but I'm not filthy 10 let's try some other attacks filth but I have promise 14 okay I gave a little bit more damage I don't know if this is random plus or minus though as well I resist with promise oh 18 that was nice okay Bible I don't have a Bible yet though Ooh, I almost ran into that one. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna try Promise again. Okay, this is one dimensional right now because I don't know what exactly to do. I bet there's something else that's gonna boost me. Yeah, like, okay, pray for strength. Alright, we're gonna do pray for strength and then we're gonna try the Promise again. I got two something there. Maybe that's offense or something. Resist with promise. Ooh, 24. Nice. Okay. The sludge of sin drains into the swamp. We aren't in danger of in any danger of consequences here. Um, you got warned though. It's my life. I can live it how I please. Okay. Well, that's, that's true. We do have a choice as to how to live our lives. Some ways are wiser than others. Olive. She has a name. Okay. I've heard of a small gate that leads all the way to the Celestial City. When you find the gate, will you come back and tell me about it? Okay. Alright, so I gotta go back there. So I gotta warn this guy, huh? I wish I could jump on the stairs. Can I? No, I can't. That would save a lot of time. Um, I think what to do here... Uh, keep jumping... All right, and then go up the stairs. Oh, coins. Okay, just random coins. All right, that's good. I think I picked up some earlier. I probably just didn't notice. All right, um, groundskeeper. So this guy looks pretty intense. <laughs> like monster-esque here. Uh, all right, we're gonna pray for strength. This guy's quick. Um, I probably need to get some speed, but uh, groundskeeper. Strike truth. Twenty. Okay, that was that was pretty good, but I had the strength buff or whatever. I'm right on the edge of beating him to it. There's going to be a speed. Um, maybe that's the way to do it. Uh, I got to find a way to increase my speed on that. Okay. What are these like oil? windmill thingies or whatever. Oil rig, Eiffel Tower, broadcasting tower thingy. Off balance. Straight with fire? That's ridiculous. Stop spreading lies. Man. Reminds me of Noah. Warn everybody. You got that big old backpack, man. Alright, uh... What do the blessings do? 10 damage per second. Dang. That's pretty... That's pretty strong. Uh, what do the other ones do? 
Double your strength. Double your defense. Shield you from any attacks. Increase your speed. There we go. Let's do the zeal. Oh, beat you to it. All right, cool. Um, and then what was the strength? Double your strength. So the so the other one disappeared. Uh, that must have a cooldown on something. I don't know where that cooldown is. But let's do true. Twenty. It didn't do much, but I didn't pray for strength. Okay. Um, so it does about the same, I guess, right now. Maybe that'll change. Level up. All right. What happened? It's flashing yellow. Now that you've leveled up, press tab to your logbook. All right, get to put stats. Okay, so I got one automatically in everything. Let's see what each one does. Stronger your faith. Okay, so that's that's your attack, your strength. Guard is obviously defense. Zeal, increase your speed in battle. Increased wisdom. Prayer. Okay, and then spirit. I really wish that prayer here were like an obvious, yes, let's put stuff in. I think the obvious thing right now is zeal. I'm just going to dump everything in zeal right now. Because um, I guess early on, cool, you can be zealous. You need to have wisdom in there too. I need to find how to get a Bible. Um, right, i got to warn you. Uh, I'm going to go across. Actually, no, there were people down there. Yeah, let's let's go down here. Anything over here? Yeah. Oh, I got hit with... Ooh! That kind of hurt. That acid droplet, though. Is that a groundskeeper or not? That I don't know. Uh, what was it? Promise? Let's do Pray for Strength. And then we're going to do Promise. Oh, look, I got a uh, extra... So I had two before. Ooh! That was pretty painful. Alright, uh... What was it? Promise? Yeah, 30. He's getting wrecked right now. And then... Zeal's not helping as much as I wish. Um, I'm not sure that even had an effect. Oh, man. I'm keeping my sense of secret. Man, that's, that's, the, that's a pharisaical thing right there. That's hypocrisy, everything. The thing is, like, we all sin, but man, just to, to live with that and to keep it all private and to let that eat away at you is just, oh man. Okay, um, is there any way that I can, okay, that lifts you out of frustration, lifts you out of fear, confusion, just out of shame and a renewed blessing. Um, let's try that, forgiveness. I'm not really hurting right now. It's only hitting me for about an eighth of my health. So that's that's a sign that this is gonna be really easy. And look, it refreshed all of these. Man, that okay, that that one's this one's overpowered. I'm gonna use that a whole bunch. Um Alright, we're gonna resist with uh Grace. That did like nothing! Okay, so apparently filth doesn't like Grace. <laughs> you attack me for like extra. Alright, promise. Yeah, that's a whole lot better. So it looks like there actually is a weakness for each one of these characters. Nothing good can come from reading that Bible. Stop causing trouble. Man. Sets the captive free. Alright. It's like Jesus said. You shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Alright. I don't have a Bible yet, kid. Sorry. Uh, that's another groundskeeper. Let's beat him up. With truth. Eat this truth, son. <laughs> ah, you resist. Spiritual warfare. Warfare is not against flesh and blood. Alright, um... Resist with truth. Got him. Um, okay. Food. 25 coins. I don't even have 25. Uh... Oh, we should give me neg negative three. Here's a floating Bible. Let's go, let's go give that kid the Bible. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Did I go down that one? I think I did. Yeah, and I have to go down the next one. It's over here in the groundskeeper. Let's beat him. Oh, he beat me to it that time. All right, uh, resist with truth. I only need to hit him twice with truth. 
So that's uh, that's how I'm gonna beat this guy. Wow, frustration. Uh, okay, truth. Oh man, he got warned. Oh, you ever hear of global warming? This is global warning. <laughs> Oh man. Alright. Let's keep going. Keep going. Ooh, missed. This game's okay so far. Um, I think one of the criticisms that people had was the guy looks a little robotic. Which, that. Yeah, it's a little bit, but. I like how they look at you each way. That burden, though. I gotta cast off that burden. Oh, I have 25. Let's get, um, let's get some food. Did I just edge grab right there? That's like Smash Brothers. I think I did. Got hung up on that edge. That border condition. Can I jump? Get it? Nope. Okay, so I actually have to go up. That slows me down. Let's not do that. Okay. Food. Okay, so I got a drumstick. Did that? Okay, no one wanted food yet, right? I think I think there was another one that wanted a Bible in the first area. Oh, there's more coins. Let's beat another groundskeeper. Let's let's get rid of these missions. Let's see what happens. All right, we're gonna do truth. Yeah, these guys aren't that hard on normal, especially. This is uh, very manageable. <laughs> I'm not close to dying at all, so. Bible. I don't have one. I got food though. I gotta warn this guy. I think that's gonna be ten. Ten warned people. Yep, okay, so what do I do? Okay, it's flashing. Don't have a Bible yet. Alright, this is the edge of the level. That's a new one. Pick up some money. Oh, new characters. Um Let me go back for a bit. Pray for you. Okay. That, that would be easy. I can't do a jump prey. I'm trying to do a jump prey kit. Oh, whoa, money just... Whoa, it just came back again. Can I get that again? No, the kid disappeared. No! I hope that doesn't kill me later on. I want to pray for that kid, man. Spirit drain. Ooh, okay. Oh, I picked the wrong one, didn't I? Oh, that's... That's kind of painful. What can I do about that? Okay, these are buffs. Healing. Frustration. Is it renewal? Alright, that gets rid of that drain. That's good. I can take the attacks. That that drain probably would have killed me. Well, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. He's still going quicker than, than I am. Yeah, I don't think that zeal had any effect at all. Maybe you have to stack it or something. I don't know. Uh, did I go down here? I don't know if I did or not. Did I go to there? It's across it. Oh, oops. I'll do three hits. Did you do the right one? I promise. All right. So, so far this is grinding, and, uh, oh, that was a good hit. I've leveled up, like, what, once? I can't warn him. Oh, I should have waited. That's like the Mangle mini game right there. Um, promise. That's almost half. But see, it has that, like, it has that cooldown bar over there. That's actually pretty helpful. I wish Five Nights at Freddy's World had that. That would be cool. Level up. Okay, so I get to put more points. Uh, I really need to go faster. All right, we're gonna put it in zeal. I don't know what what I do. Like it's flashing. Oh, that hurt. Was that 25 damage or something? Coins in the Bible. Oh. Oof. Ooh. Okay. 
Is it actually going quicker now? Maybe a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna put some other stats there too, because I, I need a little bit better balance. And I can get another uh, drumstick here too. Pray for me. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah! Alright. Okay, so that heals you up, I guess. Woo! Almost. You need to get some calf strength, man. I guess. I'm hoping he jumps like ridiculously high once that ba uh, backpack is gone, but. Um... Oh, I picked the wrong one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that Zeal has much of an effect. Alright, got another drumstick. Alright. Just gonna backtrack here. And I'm 20 minutes in already. Oh no, not that. Uh, I think I can beat him in time. Oh, one shot. Nice! Um, okay. Quests. Let's see if I get any new quests. Let's see rewards for completed quests. Okay, now it's a, a solid green. So I guess okay. So I gotta I gotta go to the book every time I finish one. I guess. I can warn him again though. Oh, that resets your quest. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that that's cool. So I think these groundskeepers have 30 health on normal. All right, yeah, because I hit him for 30 last time and he was one shot. I didn't take any fall damage too. That's kind of cool. Okay. What I do... I leveled up. And I'm glowing! Alright, let's see. Uh, I really need more attack. These two again. Alright, let's do that. Let's catch up a little bit with that one. Oh, okay, I defeated... Oh. <laughs> I was thinking of a space bar. Alright, anything else? Give Bibles to needy, feed the hungry, defense, defeat Sinmire. Do I have to do that all in this world? I didn't see anyone else. Uh, I'm gonna have to progress, I guess. Okay. Um, so that's pretty cool so far. I can, can warn them. Um... Let's progress a little bit. I'm gonna get to the end of the level here. Oops, wrong one. Warn you. Can't get any new food because I don't have $25 or coins. Drachma or whatever. <laughs> Too few denar denarii. Uh, Alright, it's five. Warn citizens of destruction. And I'm here! Alright, so next segment, I'm going to talk to these dudes. That's probably a good place to... Uh, it's a good stopping point. So, alright. Well, part one, Pilgrim's Progress. The Pilgrim's Progress. Yeah, pretty cool so far. Uh, we'll see how the next parts go. Check you later. Peace and God bless. Yeah. <laughs>